Once again, welcome to Sketch with Denzel. This is my presentation number 14. And for this, I will be doing an architectural perspective in night mode or night scene. As usual, always put your guides, your horizon line, and vanishing point. And again, the vanishing point will be based on the angle of your view from the building. And as you see, I always start to draw my massing. And also, you need to determine the height of the floor levels of your building so that you can have a guide on the proportion of your massing. And as you see, in my frontmost facade, I divided it by two and make the first half as an accent wall. And for the other half, will be dedicated for the entrance or main entrance. And as you observe beneath my roof eaves, I put a ventilation or concrete louver and this will lessen the heat gain coming from the roof. After you have outlined your massing, you can now put your details such as the doors, windows, railings and other essential details that you need to provide in your architectural drawing. And as you see, I also used steel pipe as a column for my cantilevers. And this seems to lessen the massive and heavy look of my structure. I also wanted to use wood panels for my secondary accent. And for my primary accent wall, I wanted to use a brickworks as a cladding. And this is a random ashlar type of brickwork. And for this design, I also wanted to use corner windows to maximize the view from the outside. And as you observe for the window design, I made the second floor same as the ground floor. And this shows repetition and balance. And of course, always incorporate your vegetations in your design because they always have that role to serve as buffer from pollution and noise and they also put life into your building. For the ceiling and eaves, I want it to be paneled so I put termination lines. landscapes you can also consider applying the transitions of textures and sizes and as you see in my sketch I put large leaves in the background and small leaves or shrubs in the foreground and after you have completed conceptualizing you can now finalize your drawing with an ink As you observed, I started to ink my drawing or sketch from the horizontal lines and massing, going to its details.
by the way if you are subscribed to this channel thank you for your support and i hope that you're always enjoying watching my video tutorials and presentations and i hope that you also learn something and if you're not yet subscribed feel free to do so and stay connected with us for more upcoming videos and for more architectural perspectives and sketches you can visit my instagram account and facebook page the links are in the description box below and for the previous drawing presentation and tutorials, the links are also in the description box below. By the way, if you want to emphasize the edges of your drawing, you can also use a broader or thicker ink. And if you don't have, just repeat applying or inking the edges or lines. And for the materials I use, I also listed it below. You have finalized inking you can now choose the rendering materials you want to apply and for me i will be using a watercolor and the brand name is brown and i will be doing a night mode or night scene as requested by joril arnais and thank you to baby Lou who collaborated with the design in rendering always start to render your background going to the foreground and for me, I always start to apply my base color and just repeat it applying afterwards. And for the color scheme of the sky, I put a sample of color transition in the screen. And in my presentation, I use colored blue, violet, red violet, and orange. And for the leaves of the plants and trees, I use olive green as base color. And repeat it later for darker colors and brighter colors for shades and shadows. And now, since this is night mode, I applied bright yellow for the windows 
to show light source coming from the interior of the house and also apply a mild tone of yellow for the light rays from the eaves and ceiling then proceed applying of the base colors of the facade and ceilings and remember to not apply hard tone of colors on the light rays which will emphasize the brightness of the lights And as you observe for the corners with the least light source, I applied a little bit dark blue to show the intensity of brightness coming from the lights of the house. and also put reflections on floors. And since the light source is coming from the interior, we should assume that the shaded part of the window frame is at the exterior of the house. For the color of the brickworks, I will just apply different shades of gray. In night mode, if you want to put additional trees in the background, just put silhouettes of the trees. And remember, the farther the silhouette of the tree, the lighter color of silhouette to be applied. And of course, I also wanted to put some emphasis of clouds. So I put darker tone of violet and applied it to the lighter portion of the sky. Then finalize your vegetations and apply brighter green for the portions that has reflections of lights. Then apply darker green for shades and put some shadows And to make that night scene more interesting, put stars and the moon by using white ink or correction fluid. And that's it. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and click the bell button to be updated for upcoming videos. And if you have any suggestions and requests, just comment down below. And for us to be stay connected, feel free to visit and follow me in my Instagram account and Facebook page. The links are all in the description box below.